you. Nice to see you. Chef, yeah. good to see you. Hello, Chef. All right. <laughs> okay, let's do it. First thing I do in the morning, put the turkey in. Then I do all the prep for all the side dishes while it's cooking. So I think with mashed potatoes, you can either use Yukon Golds or Russets. You just wanna peel them properly, make sure you get all the skin off. And then when you're cutting them up to boil them, you wanna cut them in even pieces. Does it matter if they're big or small as long as they're the same size? Those are cut up evenly, so they cook about the same time. What I don't wanna do is cut them too small, because if you cut them too small, too much water is gonna get absorbed in the potatoes. That's a pretty thick slice. We got our potatoes drained, we got our food mill, and we're gonna put those through it. This is the part at home when I just mash them and spin it around. That works out fine too. It is more even, more consistent, a little smoother. Butter and heavy cream? I want this hot, and then I'm gonna add the hot cream and butter. Before you put it in the potatoes. But the, this way I do it so it's hot, and then I just keep it in a warming drawer. Is he folding, is he folding okay? Folding okay. He's doing okay. Season with salt and pepper and some chives, and we're gonna be good to go. Mm. It's like the perfect consistency. Mm -hmm. I don't think I ever want to make a chunky mashed potato ever again. I mean, the Gosh. smoothness is just off the charts. I gotta, I gotta mm. be Giving up? Giving up. Lava. I'm back. Like lava, back. look at it. Ooh. Mimi's cooking uh, Brussels sprouts. I wanna make some good sprouts. Butter, and chuck all that bacon in there. And the Brussels sprouts and the turnip. Mm. I love the sound of sizzling bacon. Now you actually have the sauce. Oh, nice. oh, yeah. oh, that. Oh, jeez. What's the key to this? Stop laughing. Give it a little more oomph. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh. Oh. We lost a turnip. Turnip down. Oh, no. We have a turnip What's down. This? We actually add more salt than home cooks do. We're not afraid of it. So the salt brings out the flavor of the Brussels sprouts. Totally, 100%, 100%. Okay, so I'm gonna take this whole side dish and put it in the oven. Let it continue to roast for a while. 375 degree oven for about five minutes. So that was turnips, Brussels sprouts, bacon, butter, and a lot of salt, and then he put it in the oven. And pepper. You wanna plate these up? Yep. Okay. Wow, I love the color on that. Look at that. That was so easy. That was so easy. Super that looks so professional. That's restaurant quality. Mm -hmm. There's a little crunch to it. It's not super mushy. I think he just nailed it. That's perfectly cooked. Yeah, mm. I love the big chunks of bacon too. Mm. What are we doing? Okay, we're gonna make a little bit of stuffing now. All right. Okay, we got our toasted bread uh, croutons here. Got a couple of eggs. Got a little couple of chicken stock. Rosemary, thyme, sage, celery, onions. My chicken stock I wanna have hot. I'm gonna saute some vegetables and some decent amount of butter. Add the celery, add the onions. I wanna make sure everything gets a little bit of seasoning in it. We got our vegetables starting to get a little bit soft. I'm gonna add all my herbs. Any herbs you have around are great. Make it nice and aromatic. It's, it's gonna make it super tasty. Gonna add all that into there. Whoa, right on top. Right on top. Whisk my eggs. Gonna add a couple cups of chicken stock to this. I whisk my eggs in there. Kind of bind it, bind it all together. Put it in a baking pan, cover it, and bake it in the oven. It's about 45 minutes, that's it. Happy Thanksgiving, Chef. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Thanks for all the nice tips. To see you, yeah, Thank thanks you. so much. Thank you. I'm Go anytime. I'm full now. <laughs> <laughs>